डियरेज हार्ट ब्यूटिफुल एनर्जी मे बी इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द मून एंड यू आर नाउ अंडरस्टैंडिंग डेट यू आर मोर देन वॉट जस्ट हैपन टू यू यू आर ब्यूटिफुली अलाउंग नो डैट अ सेंस ऑफ करेज इन यू विच इज मेकिंग दिस एल्केमी हैपन so know that you were wrong about understanding something and now you are getting the full picture full picture of things that you did not understand certain habits from the past are still lingering like considering bread crumbs to be big so the universe is stepping in to clear this energy for you and you deserve so much more know that there is a lot inside of you which has been emotionally quite heavy and just be a little more patient little more and it will be fine so you are on the right path finally choosing your happiness and that what the universe wanted show the courage to choose yourself this is exactly the point where the universe wanted you to get to end and you have gotten there Now just see the magic unfold embark on this journey and start the boat has come keep showing this courage because the universe love this thing about you So your courage your optimism and your ability to turn a negative situation to positive for you So love this energy and this new beginning that awaits you. So dear souls know that be assertive in your decisions but pay attention to how your ego is at play. Our ego is part of our being human. But the best decisions often come when we use our own intuition and inner guidance rather than being in the ego state so know that you are powerful and you can use your power lovingly and assertively holding good boundaries and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone so your guides are pushing you to make a good decisions based on where you need to be and what you should be learning rather than so where your ego and outer self is telling you where you should be and what you should be doing so others may not understand your choices but know that by working with your own power you are taking a step on the right path so create a sacred space somewhere you can have the things you love and that means something to you create a space where you can feel connected calm and peaceful so create a space in your mind that feels safe welcoming and allows you to connect with your higher self for healing guidance and information clear out clear clutter physically and mentally get rid of unhelpful thoughts donate unwanted items and clean the space within and around you so know that by creating this spaces you can tune into divine energy 
more easily and as you excel and connect with your own source energy so get outdoors connect with sacred spaces in nature to amplify your ability to interrupt the guidance you are receiving and experience greater healing so dear souls know that someone is betraying you in a significant way your connection is going through a very important transformation right now you are also feeling the change in your person's energy and you can feel that who was runner in your connection once now the chaser so this person is heavily stalking you on social media to see what you are up to and what you are doing is there someone new in your life or someone else with whom you are busy and that is why you are ignoring them or not worrying about them anymore so this person is already almost approached to you in last two weeks but it is possible that they cancel the plan on last moment or you did not respond to their call message or their approach so they have realized that the intensity hold for you is something which can never be compromised or never be filled by someone else in their life so they want you in their life as a official life partner now your person did not realize the pain when you have to see them with someone else or see them not committing to you but when the same things happen with them they have to see you with someone else or they think that they have to see you with someone else in future and their whole world turn upside down so in the month of september you can see the offer of commitment from them which will include stability loyalty and especially their attention and time so which was never there when you need it most their own jealousy and insecurity is pushing this person to go beyond the limits for you so this person is not thinking about anyone or anything right now they only know the one thing that they want you anyhow in their life so someone's feeling indifferent and emotionally disconnected from you and they could be acting this way because either they want something more from this connection or their past sometimes show up due to which they shut off their emotions and pull back their energies so this per- person may also be scared of rejection and it seems there was a huge imbalance of give and take in your relationship So you might have been giving away your time energy love and affection to this person but they never reciprocated So this at times created tense vibes between you even minor fights this time you decided it is enough you are not going to waste your time anymore and this has hit your person really hard so they never expected this from you and now they feel rejected i feel they also might owe you some money so they really miss you though you both share great chemistry and passion and your person feels tempted to reach out to you 
so they are however fighting a battle between their heart and mind you could be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame they love how beautiful and hot you are So dear souls know that you may just need to honor the feeling of confusion you are experiencing right now and when it comes to your person and this connection you may need to meditate on this situation a bit to gain clarity on your next move or what you should do next in regard to this situation So I feel your heart could be saying on thing and your heart is saying another you may feel such a strong connection and bond with this person and you really want them to be available to you in the way you need but they are not So if anything you may be over giving in this connection causing an imbalance I'm getting strong obsession energy either coming from you or this person so you both may not be able to stop thinking about one another but are not really in a space where you can give or act on your feelings so because of an imbalance you feel inside of you this time apart is needed you are being asked to honor your feelings without it attaching to them or identifying with them and to connect to the higher and trust you that has all the guidance you could ever need so trust yourself and how you feel even if it means you have to walk away from this situation and person now and try again later with them you deserve peace in your heart and mind So dear souls know that healing comes in stages you start by distracting yourself keeping your mind occupied with so much that you are unable to process your feelings So then you move on to a brief period of self doubt you start reliving every memory wondering if you were good enough if there were things you could have done differently to avoid this heartbreak then comes the agony and you let yourself hit rock bottom reliving all the good memories So the moments you wish could last forever and you miss them you miss them like a part of you has been stolen but as you navigate through the good memories you also come across some bad ones So you come face to face with their shortcomings all the ways they were not a right match for you all the times they could have treated you better and then finally you reach the point where you understand your worth is far greater than what they made you believe so that you deserve so much more than they promised you someone like that is better out of your life than in it you think and that is where you truly start healing so dear souls know that while sometimes to feel things so deeply might seem like a burden it is a rare gift to care about people the way you do in a world that can be cruel and unkind and cold you are not like that you are someone who cares so deeply about your actions and how it might impact someone You are someone who cares so deeply about what you say and how you say it and you think before you speak it is called anxiety disorder but by definition disorder is described as a breach of peace or a disruption of order 
so if we as a society looked at it with kinder lenses what we would see is someone who cares enough to have their words and actions in order and align with who they are and the things they value i think to be like that is something to be really proud of so dear souls no angels are surrounding you and encouraging you to see yourself through their loving eyes don't let the unjust action of others block your experience of joy and freedom so changing how you see and feel about yourself changes how others see and feel about you so have a compassion and respect for yourself so treat and love yourself the way you would love to be treated and loved by others then your own actions will be mirrored back to you by those around you so ask your angels to help you be more compassionate towards yourself now the angels are guiding you to awaken your creativity by engaging in an art or craft without delay this artistic interview does not need to be seen or heard by other people and it is not necessarily the end product of your life purpose it is the act of creative expression not the form it takes that is important here and when you work with light sound color or music your mind travels to higher dimensions so where you can subsequently better hear your divine guidance creative expression is an outpouring of love and light that allows you to connect with god and the angels at a very high frequency so while you are painting playing music swing making jewelry arranging flowers or what have you you will receive wonderful ideas related to your life purpose it is important to take action without delay or hesitation and not put off a decision about which form your artistic expression is to take so perfectionism is a part of the original block that you need to lift through creative avenues so pick up a paint brush and let the inner healing begin So this message is not about sucking it up it is about accepting and embracing who you really are want and all So you are a divine being you are pure energy and you can move mountains when you want to so stop putting on masks and hiding your true value away so acknowledge your uniqueness and just let go of feeling like you have to please everyone else so be you and accept who you are and embrace it we all have so called negative aspects and that is okay too positive and negative is relative on how you perceive it let that inner light shine and stop dampening yourself down for others so my child know that be kind to past versions of you that did not know what you know now reality is generated based repeating patterns and the patterns currently repeating in your life were activated in your subconscious based on what you learn in your formative years
then the subconscious controls 90% of your unconsciously and this patterns playing out in your life are not necessarily your fault so it is just what you learn so rather than getting mad ashamed or defensive get curious about what you learn early and that is driving your current behaviors So this part of you is simply acting out based on what you learn as a kid so be kind to it be as patient with it and as you would with a child you love So just like a child this part of you does not know any better became the unconditionally loving guide you always wish you had So when you are accepting and kind to yourself the pattern will shift compassion is the secret key to transforming limiting subconscious patterns when you are accepting and kind to yourself the secret key to transforming limiting subconscious pattern so give the gift of this grace to yourself type p s if you have faith and trust in universe type 1111 if you believe in universe and if you want your all wishes comes true type amen